Hi, welcome at NEDAP and welcome at this pre-announcement of EOS 2022.2. We are very happy to share with you all the new improvements we've made. So we've made improvements to make configurations even faster, deploy them faster, and we have extended the options available in our web service API for our logger proposition. We improved a lot of items on the cybersecurity part, under which mobile access. So enough to talk about. Let's get started. As we all know, business is constantly growing and evolving. And because of that, we made AOS in such a way that it can extend along with you. Now in this release, we've made it possible to copy your so-called user templates. For example, the receptionist role. Here you go, front door on your left. And with just one mouse click, we made it possible to copy those users locally and across the globe. Earlier this year we've launched our locker proposition and we've promised to further improve this proposition. Therefore we are happy to announce that we have extended our web service API with more options for the lockers. This makes it possible that the lockers can be handled remotely using a third-party integration or a mobile app. Cybercrime is something we take very seriously. Now, at NEDAP we bring security for life. And that means we put in all our effort to make EOS a secure and safe platform, keeping your people, building and assets safe. Now in this release, we've added three cybersecurity improvements. EOS itself, the communication between batches and readers, and on our mobile platform. To start, the EOS application engine is taken to a next level. And keeping this engine up to date is vital for a cybersecurity perspective. Of course, this is nothing new to you, but now we've made mobile access even more accessible by making it more secure using the SSCP protocol. This means you don't need two readers anymore to support badges and mobile access, you only need one. This means more freedom and more flexibility on the user side. By keeping in touch with the market, we found that this was the best possible solution to improve on the cybersecurity side and on the convenience side. Good deal, right? We've added one more security thing to our readers. Now it's possible that between EV2 and EV3 dash fire cards, messages are sent via the secure messaging EV2 uh, way. This makes communication between cards and between readers even more secure than before. Last but not least, we made some crucial improvements to be in line with our best of breed strategy. We secured the communication between our controller and third party integrations. For those techies, we cyber secured our message mapper via TLS encryptions. This keeps our integrations future proof and very secure. We are very happy to share with you all the new improvements we've made for the release that is soon to come. But for now, please keep an eye on our website and subscribe for our newsletter. And nothing rests more than just to say Happy Holidays! And we will see you next year. Goodbye! <laughs>